Alrighty, this is a video that I'm creating for a friend on how to create a distribution list in Outlook and at the same time how I end up doing a mass emailing mainly because there's mass emailing software out there and there's probably other services out there but as I tend to use Outlook a lot this is the way I tend to do things so what I'm going to do is uh, pull up my Outlook and at the moment I have an individual that uh, is considered what I might consider a beach portrait and I might want to create a distribution list for all my beach portrait clients so one of the first things I like to do is add this person to my contact list and when I do that all I had to do was um, take their name right up here right click on it scroll down to add Outlook clients and from here I have my own system of uh, labeling these things and I end up labeling this as BP for Beach Portrait. If it was a wedding client, I might turn around and type in WC. Uh, you can have your own particular uh, distribution uh, way of doing things, but this is just what I found to be easier for me. Once you have it, you save and close, and then you're ready to go on to the next step, which is to uh, go over here to Add, go right up to New, click on Distribution List, and once you do, you're ready to make a new distribution list. From here, I would type in Beach Portrait Clients. Keep in mind that you can name it whatever you want, whether it is, um, you know, best friends, family, uh, people out of Delaware, people out of Maryland. And then from there, you want to click on Select Members. Because we added that person to our, um, to our, uh, contacts list so that individual should be there and as you can see it's listed in alphabetical order so what I would do is take this individual's name highlight it, it's blue right across the top go down to the bottom where it says members and just click on that once that happens the person's added here imagine if you will if this person was also a beach portrait uh, client I could be just doing this all the way down uh, and that would be the best way to go if you would actually put the BP in front of it for Beach Portrait clients, they would all be in alphabetical order and they would all be um, stuck close to the top. If they're a wedding client, they would be all the way down at the bottom and uh, that would work out there. So, on that particular note, once we have it there, we have our little list of email addresses and good stuff like that. Once I'm done, I just go to save and close and I'm ready to go. Another thing is, is that uh, that's pretty much the distribution list making. All you did was start adding clients from your emails and then you would turn around and go up to new distribution list and you got it uh, made. Now uh, I like to send a bunch of emails out to people and sometimes I get lists like this with a bunch of uh, emails down the side and all I might want to do is copy it. Well um there is a couple different ways that you can do it. Uh, in my case, there's a little bit of logic to the way I do it. What I like to do first is start with a new email, and as I've already typed it up in Word, all I hmm, snap, it's not what I wanted. There was a email here. I already created this email. Yeah, snap. I typed this up at one point in time, copy, yeah, let's make that close, new. Um, all you have to do is go up to new. You're creating a new email. In this case, this is my signature block. I'm just going to remove it because I've already added it. I take what I had written before, added it there. I want to add it to a subject, you know, hey, um, uh, beach portrait. Um, packages and then from here uh, I want to make sure that it goes out of my one particular account hitchphotography at gmail.com go up to file save save as because typically it wants to save as an HTML I don't want that I want it to save as an Outlook template and once I do that all I, I prefer to have it go straight to the desktop and so I would turn around and save it as beach portrait packages save it and it's pretty much done. 
this is empty I turned around and typed it up in such a way that it is pretty much generic or general so that there's no you know details that um, you know would you know hey if I use the word he or she and I'm sending it to a girl and there's the word he in there you don't want that so uh, now that I'm done with that particular one you can see right here this is the Outlook document if I click on it there's my document and it's ready to go by adding in an email personally I like to click on it a few times and as you can see it starts to generate a bunch of them and if you're looking down at the bottom there's a bunch of them down there too from here I would just take my list of email addresses and um, in this particular case I've got two screens so I'm just going to take it one at a time copy and then well no uh, be, uh, I'm going to take my email address copy paste and then send you know and then imagine I just sent grab my next email address copy and and then paste well in this case uh, you know I should have it over here as far as copy and then paste and then send and then go on over to my next email address copy paste and then send and I tend to do that and it's it's okay but if you did end up creating a distribution list so you could always take your distribution list and then just stick it in your uh, blind carbon copy so if you can imagine the um, let's see here you got all your beach portrait clients right there there's four or five of them there what you want to end up doing in the two block is to send it to yourself um, and then which would be like Will Vickers at hotmail.com and then click OK and then it'll send all the beach portrait people this email as well as to yourself and by putting it in blind carbon copy they won't all see it um, so that would probably be the better way to go so give that a try and see if that helps and if it doesn't then well there's other options there's always another option thanks